outfit of the day. <laughs> we have Primark trousers, this top, which I don't really know where it's from, but it's super cute. And it is like a replica of the one Monica wears in France. And yeah, as you can tell, still sick. So I got my results back from my COVID test that I did yesterday. It was of course, as expected, negative. So I now finally can go to the doctor's office. So that's where I'm headed right now. So I've just finished at the doctor's. He said I had some sort of virus, flu-like virus or something like that. And that it would probably pass, hopefully soon. So yeah, I'm gonna stop by the store because I'm not in quarantine any longer because I got the test results so I don't have COVID which means I can finally go to the store finally I say finally but it's only been a day but yeah I'm gonna go to the store get myself some Pepsi you know we'll see maybe I find something else food shop haul I got some licorice Pepsi Max this bread thingy and some popcorn So I'm starting the vlog of the 9th of December a little bit hectically. I woke up to go to the toilet and then I just saw that I had a notification on my phone that said, hey, you have a doctor's appointment in 30 minutes. So <laughs> I've just literally gotten out of bed and gotten ready super quick just wash my face and stuff now you're probably thinking what the hell you just had a doctor's appointment yesterday why are you going to the doctors again today I've had this doctor's appointment scheduled for about a month and it's about <laughs> it's a consult for a breast reduction today's appointment is just gonna be me hearing about my options for a breast reduction. I've been thinking about getting a breast reduction for probably six months now, six months to a year, just because I'm at a, I'm at a 30, 34 G, I think, or EU 75 G. <laughs> And uh, that's quite big, so to be frank, my tits are in the way and <laughs> I'm tired of it. So we're just gonna go into the doctor's office and discuss it, you know, say hi. Is this an option? And um, I have a couple of questions because I'm, I'm 20, I'm only 20 so I'm quite young and I don't really want to have kids anytime soon. But one of the questions I'm really like thinking about is if I get the breast reduction, will I be able to breastfeed? Because I'd like to be able to breastfeed if I eventually have kids, hopefully. And also the scarring is one thing I'm a bit concerned about. But honestly, they're not massive concerns. I just really am sick and tired of back pain pain and shoulder pain and tops not fitting right and being self-conscious because of my boobs and the thing about big boobs is yeah they're great and all until you put clothes on and, and actually live your, live your life like they look great in the mirror they feel great all that but then you go out and live your life and it's painful all right hi i'm back so the doctor looked at my boobs she said you're definitely a candidate i can tell 
that you're suffering. <laughs> and I was like, preach woman. But she also said that because my boobs have been growing the last year, because uh, I have actually changed a cup size within the last year, which means that I have to wait until my breasts stabilizes themselves. And I've been the same cup size for about a year to two years. Which is not exactly what I was hoping for, but very understandable because you don't want your boobs to be growing after you've done the reduction. So, yeah. So, a breast reduction is going to be in my future, but don't exactly know when. I didn't even have time to open my calendars today. Oh, what's this? Highlighting Shimmer Whip by Emco Beauty. That's cool. It's time to make lunch and today I'm making some pasta chicken salad with homemade croutons. So I already have the pasta cooking and I have the croutons in the oven and then all I'm gonna do now is cook my filet pieces. This is the best baked chicken I've tried, hands down, love it. I'm gonna also cut up my veggies and that's it. Sad fact, I used to be really scared of using oil in my food, uh, which is pathetic and stupid because oil is good. Not too much obviously, but like you need oil to properly cook stuff, so now I'm not scared of oil anymore. I just like a really simple salad, to be honest. It's just cucumber. Why, did I do that? Why is this not cut up? It's just cucumber, uh, tomato, and salad. I would put avocado in there, but my av avocado was moldy, so that's not good. And here we have it, some homemade chicken and pasta salad with croutons and balsamico. mail while on my walk and there was a parcel from ASOS for me there so let's open it so I ordered a pair of jeans and uh, just a black mini skirt let's open the mini skirt first okay this is just a black jersey mini skirt I'm what size did I get because it looks a bit big Okay, it might fit. It might fit. I'm gonna try it on afterwards. And then I repurchased my favorite jeans from ASOS. I used to have these jeans like a year ago, but then I grew out of them because I gained weight. So finally they have them in stock again. So I decided to buy a size, what size did I buy this time? They will give me a 36, okay. That's, well that's sketchy. The sizing was taped, oh, first of all, the sizing was taped over. Second of all, when I rip it off, it says 30, 36, and I ordered the 30, 38. It will be fine, honestly, because they're quite tall, but. Also, sorry, I'm not wearing a bra, but the skirt fits. And it has a bit of 
like space in it. So if I gain any more weight, I know it'll still fit. I love it. I love it. It's quite thin, I think, but I like it. So the jeans fit. Thank God. They look a bit weird in the mirror, but they fit me. Make my ass look great, I think. After looking at myself in the mirror a little bit more, I decided I'm going to return them. <laughs> They're not flattering on my cooch at all. Like this part, not flattering. So, decided we're going to return them even if it's going to cost me some money. But it's baking time. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes, please. Okay, as you guys could tell, uh, yesterday I didn't actually vlog that much. I was just not feeling myself and I feel like that would have been a really boring vlog to watch but today I've been feeling much more myself which means I've been much more happy and positive and much more like you know wanting to do stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog even though it was a little bit short I actually been meaning to ask you guys this but do you prefer longer vlogs or shorter vlogs and by longer vlogs I mean probably like over 20 minutes because if you do I could try and make my vlogs even longer but if you don't, then there's no need for me to vlog any more of my life. Make sure you like this video and subscribe because I will be doing vlogmas throughout December. So if you want to stay tuned and follow my life, <laughs> then make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!